And so what we can tell from this is that not every Popeyes is actually owned, at least their building, or even the fact that they have franchises, they're not owned by the same person. So if we wanted to actually find out what REITs own some of these Popeyes franchises, because Popeyes doesn't own all of the buildings, what we would do is go to the SEC website. So we're gonna go to sec.gov and we're gonna search for company filings. Now the company company filings, this is where you can find different information about uh, the financials, whenever they report earnings, whenever there's some type of major news that a public shareholder should be aware of, you can find it here. And so that includes their quarterly reports, that includes their annual reports, and any other major news that needs to be reported. So we're gonna search for full text. It'll show you the past four years of information. So we're just gonna search Popeyes and REIT. And we wanna put that in capital letters. That way it searches both of these items. So any search results that we'll get, will have both Popeyes and REIT in the search. And you can actually use the advanced search page as well, because what we wanna specifically search for here or what I like to specifically search for is the 8K of a company. Now the 8K is a filing for unscheduled events. So these are non-quarterly reports, non-annual reports, and they must be filed within four business days of any major event. So that major event could be them announcing a share repurchase, that they're gonna buy back their own shares. It could be them announcing that they're gonna increase their dividend. It could be them, them announcing that they just acquired a company. It could be many different things, but if there's anything major, it has to be filed within four business days. So we're gonna to go to the advanced search page and we're only gonna show the eight Ks. And so that'll take us, instead of having 1900 results, we now move down to just 62 results. And so now you see here, one of the companies that has been mentioned as far as owning a lot of Popeyes is Service Properties Trust. So we're gonna look at their filing. Service Properties Trust, their ticker symbol on an ASDAQ is SVC. So if you were to go look up in whatever investing app you use, whether it's uh, TD Ameritrade, Charles Schwab, uh, M1 Finance, Robinhood, whatever investing, investing app that you use, you can search those three letters and it'll bring up that company and you can see their stock price. But from here, we're gonna look up to see that, okay, they did mention that they own Popeyes. And on here, you can actually see how many Popeyes they actually own. So you can see here that they own 28 buildings that are Popeyes. But you also see that they own many other restaurants and stores. So they own travel centers of America. Those are gas stations that you usually see on the side of, side of highways, uh, petrol stopping centers, same thing, AMC movie theaters, and lots of other companies, CarMax, Pizza Hut, uh, Regal Cinemas. They have a wide variety of companies that they own within their real estate investment trust. And so not only are you getting Popeyes here with the 28 Popeyes that they own, you're also getting all of these other stores. And they may even own a Popeyes within one of these travel centers or petrol stopping centers. Or, you know, I don't know, I've never seen a Popeyes in a movie theater, but you know, maybe there is one where you live. But the point is that these REITs are diversified. They own many different buildings. So they're collecting rent from travel centers, from Popeyes, from Pizza Hut, from Regal Cinemas, all of these companies are paying SVC, the REIT, Service Properties Trust, they're paying rent to this company and this is how this publicly traded REIT makes their money. And so we can go back, we can see that there are other companies that also are REITs and that own Popeyes. And the next one, we're gonna look at Four Corners Property Trust. And from here we can look at to see just from the top of the page, you see that they own Olive Gardens, Chili's, KFC's, Burger King's, and their ticker symbol is FCPT. So you can tell this is a public company and you can actually buy stock into this REIT. 
So we're going to find out where, where's the Popeye's information for this one. Um, and from the list of portfolio brands, you can see that they only own two Popeye's. So they're, they're getting lease, they're getting rental income just from two Popeye's. But you can see all the other companies that they have or that they rent buildings to, Olive Garden, Longhorn, Chili's, Red Lobster, Burger King. They're mainly focused on restaurants. Unlike the other company that we're looking at, they own other companies outside of restaurants. So we're gonna close that out. And let's see if we see another different company. All right, that's Four Corners again. Look, we have Store Capital here. Store Capital, their ticker symbol is STOR. They also own Popeyes. And as you can see, their number of properties is 63. So they own 63 buildings where Popeyes actually leases, pays them monthly income. And with this income, all of these REITs have to pay out 90% of their revenue to the shareholders of these REITs. Anyone that purchases a share of their company is a shareholder. You are an owner of that business. So that means when they make money from Popeyes and from Fleet Farm, Ashley Furniture, any of these companies that they own the buildings of, when they get the money for the lease for the rent, you make money as well. And they pay that money out via a dividend. So now that you know how to do this search, you can use this for literally any property in the US. But as you can see, it takes some work. Think about what other companies you would want to know who owns their property. Think about the possibilities. A REIT that owns maybe Amazon warehouses or maybe data centers or maybe Walmart stores or Kroger's, Publix, Safeway, Smith's, Whole Foods, Microsoft data centers, Dave & Buster's. Like there are so many possibilities out there. If it's real estate, you can find the owner by doing a property search. And if it's a REIT or other publicly traded stock, you can find their information using the SEC Edgar search. So if you don't wanna look for a specific building and you know there's a specific company who you'd wanna invest in, but you don't wanna invest directly in the company, you wanna invest in the real estate that is owned by that company, you can search for them on this website. And so, Going away from Popeyes, let's look at maybe Amazon and see who would come up as owning an Amazon REIT. And you can see there are different companies that come up here. Uh, there are over 300 results for companies that mention Amazon and mention that they are a real estate investment company. And so we're just going to click on this top one. And we're going to search for Amazon on their page. And you can see that there's some building that they have that involves Amazon paying them money. Now it doesn't really give you details as much and it's only showing one address, but we could even search this address. You know, I'm not familiar with this specific county, but you could go to Berkeley County's, their property search and try to find out who owns that. But we already know who owns the building because we're already on their, on their actual SEC documentation on their AK. And there are multiple different companies that are included here that this REIT makes money off of. And then you can also just use trusty Google and let's say I wanna look for REIT Amazon. And you can look directly at this uh, article from Forbes they're actually gonna talk about it in this article. And in this article, they, they found out that Duke Realty owns 499 warehouses. So, you know, that could be a company that could be very interesting. Uh, American Tower. Now, American Tower doesn't directly own anything of Amazon, but because you use your mobile devices to purchase things off of Amazon, that's like another offhand way of kind of investing in Amazon as well. But then if you look at their third pick, you see that Digital Realty Trust is a company that owns Amazon's data centers. And they probably own a lot of other data centers for other different companies as well. So that's another way that you could invest in Amazon without directly investing in Amazon stock. 
Now, after watching this video and you think about what could I do instead of investing or doing all of this research, the amount of time that it's going to take for you to, one, learn how to do this, even following these steps, I've given you step by step how to figure out how to find a specific building, who owns that building, whether or not the owner of that building has a REIT, or if you just want to go straight to the SEC website, search for a specific company and a REIT, see what companies own the businesses or own the property of the businesses that are leasing uh, those, those buildings. That can take a lot of time. But instead, what you can do is you can invest in all REITs. You, you can go to whatever investing platform that you use and you can just search for VNQ. Now that is Vanguard specific uh, REIT ETF, which invests in every single real estate investment trust that's available. And if we were to look it up right now, uh, this is another website that I like to use, finviz.com. You can search any company and you can get just detailed information about this specific ticker. And so when we search VNQ, we can see that this, this REIT ETF actually pays a dividend of 3% per year, a $2.86 dividend, which is paid quarterly. And their stock right now is around $90. And so this is another way without you doing all of the research, all of the background information that I just did here to just invest in all of the real estate that's publicly available via a real estate investment trust. So this is the true passive income more passive way to invest in real estate. Very simple, you don't have to do a lot of research. You don't have to actually go out and buy an actual physical company to make money via real estate when you can do it with a real estate investment trust. All right, thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you're really gonna like this video. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.